Hey guys, Andrew Shroud. I'm here on the sideboard. I'm sitting with David McDarby. How's it going, man? Good, how are you doing, Andrew? I am doing great. Excellent. Thank and you. you're off to a pretty good start here. Yeah. With uh, with a 60 card deck. It's not 100. Yeah. I'm 40 short. Kind of kind of stepping out of your, your comfort zone a little bit. Yeah, well, they don't run opens for Commander, so I'm forced to abide by them. So you are playing Standard. Yes. Uh, you're playing Teamer. Teamer. Well, mid-range mid Teamer. I like to call it Primal, is it? Okay. Because it is it with a splash of green. More Fair of enough. a splash, actually, main, mainly green, but you know. Okay, so mm -hmm. tell me a little about why you chose to play this particular build. Uh, I want to play one card in particular, Anger of the Gods. Right. This is the card I want to play. Um, Hornet Queen is kind of ruining the roost. People, it's mid-range party all the time. Mm -hmm. And Handy Beat mid-range, we can go a little bit bigger, like Hornet Queen. And Handy Beat Hornet Queen. You kill all the things. You kill all the things. Also, what if you had a threat on board at the same time? When you kill all the things. You, you don't kill your thing, you kill their thing. And then I kill them with those things. All right. Yeah, so that's why I want to play Teamer. The green gives you creatures with big butts, and I can kill everything else except for my creatures, and then uh, win from there. Okay. So you're playing the full four Anger of the Gods. Yes, I always... This deck is awkward because it's a mid-range deck with the yes. mini Wrath of Gods, so it's not good against a lot of decks. But the decks it's good against, you will just win the game by casting mm -hmm. it. You know, token decks. The main thing, uh, the token deck that came from World Championship, you yeah, was watching Nobby's deck. Mm -hmm. Um, this deck is good against that, at least I think, because I've got main deck angers and these sure. big guys, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned you wanted to play green creatures yes. to go with your your anger of the gods. Uh, part of what comes with playing green creatures is you have to play Sylvan Carrington. Yes. Which you are doing. You have the, the full four Sylvan yes. Carrington, four anger anger of the gods combo. Yes. Um, it is a combo. It does have a three down here, but decks have historically have played Wrath of God and Bane Slayer Angels before. Sure. The decks that are Anger of the Gods are good against, like it, Sylvan, Car Sylvan Carry is also probably good against. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to cast your Anger of the Gods, but um, Carry to allows you to get a nut, nut draw of turn three uh, Knuckle Blade, Savage mm -hmm. Knuckle Blade, and then attack. And that's really, the deck is, Knuckle Blade is amazing this one right now. Mm -hmm. You can't Disdainful Stroke him, you can't Lightning Strike him, um, he survives a lot of stuff. He can get stoked, but hey, you know. Yeah, it, everything can have so, a weakness. So, I, yeah, I brought up Carrington. That's the one creature you have that actually does die to the anger. Yes. The rest of your creatures don't. They got yeah. four toughness, yeah, at least. Yeah, you've got uh, four Savage Knuckle Blade, yep. uh, four Pilacronos, and then two Stormwrath Dragon. Yes, I also have four Corsair Crucifix. I, I knew I was missing But, one, yeah. you know, Carrington does not really go far without Corsair behind her. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Corsair Crucifix, of course, the... Uh, Kind of the yin to Sylvan Carry to Jang. He is. It's, it's most awkward in this deck because I play Corsair and flip perhaps a counter spell of sorts. Right. Then they know what's coming. But um, it gains life, it, def it defends, you know. Yeah. Everyone knows about You it, just right? have to have and, and it does survive anger. It does survive anger, yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about the threats. Uh, the rest of your spell selection, you, you actually have a lot of counters. Seven counter spells total. You two two Teamer Charm, mm -hmm. two Disdainful Stroke, and three Stubborn Denial. Yeah, uh, Teamer Charm, I'm only playing two because this deck isn't super duper aggressive. You like the small Teamer list mm -hmm. with, um, you know, two two Death Test guy, Air of the Wilds and such. Yeah. Um, but it is a counter spell, and um, it does kill things. Like, it allows me to kill Siege Rhino. That one's kind of tough for me to kill. But if I have a four uh, power creature, a Knuckle Blade, or a Pelucranos, mm -hmm. um, I'm able to kill a Siege Rhino. Okay. Um, and it is a mana leak. It is three mana, but that's why I'm only playing two. Uh, Stubborn Denial is amazing. This is the deck to play Stubborn Denial is. It's one mana most every single part of the time. It's a straight up negate for one mana. It's it's the reason to play this deck. That yeah. and Knuckle Blade. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then rounding out the spells, you have a, a little bit of burn to tie things together. Yeah, yeah, I play three Lightning Strikes, only three, not four, because it's a necessary evil with Manus Riders and Rabble Masters mm -hmm. and Seekers of the Ways. All this nonsense. You gotta have it. Sometimes you can get that reach, but usually I board them out, you know, usually. Okay. Uh, two Creators Claws. Two some, creators sometimes claws. you got a Fireball, people, right? Sometimes you just, well, my only out is Fireball, and it's a pretty good Fireball. Mm -hmm. Instead of one less than the mana I put into it, it's two more usually. Okay. And that's pretty powerful. All right. It's no Devil's Play, but, you know. And then the last two spells, and we'll kind of, th this will be the fancy segue into yeah. the sideboard, because mm -hmm. you have two Dig Through Times in I the do. main, and then a third in the board. Yes. So tell me a little about how this card ha has been for you and, and how, how it works with the rest of your deck. Well, I think I've only cast it once, um, but Dig Through Time ties everything together. This kind of deck, you gotta understand your role. Are you right. control? You know, are you gonna aggro them before they cast their big spells you can't deal with? What are you trying to do? Mm -hmm. um, so that one really, if you need a fireball to kill them, you know, or get some reach, you can get that. If you need to find more counter spells, it's good for that. This deck yeah. oftentimes will morph into a more controlling deck once I know exactly what I want to control. All do right. I want more wraths? Do I want more counter spells? And this can let me find exactly what I need. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so out, out of the sideboard, you have more counter spells. Yes. Uh, two, was it two negates and then negates. two more? The, the, the full four disdainful stroke. Disdainful stroke is an amazing card right now. It counters Siege Rhino. Most everything cannot kill it without some residue laying behind it from right. Siege Rhino. Mm -hmm. It counters Whip of Erebos, counters Hornet Queen, everything, you know? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, the third dig to kind of like let you Morph play, into play, that. play the longer game. Yep. Uh, two Xena goes to the Reveler. That is, yeah. th that's kind of been a, a stock, like, 
Planeswalker to bring in when you're trying to be more controlling. Well, uh, it's but the you mentioned that you were actually trying to do something different. It's actually the aggro card when I yeah. when I go up against decks that are more controlling than me, yeah. like decks with four dig through time, so mm -hmm. blue white or blue black or Esper or what have you. Mm -hmm. It gives me another threat that it's hard for them to deal with. You know, it could be that, it can be Nisa, really either one of those. I can't use the man in this deck as well as certain decks that like have okay. Horn of Queen, yeah. but I can you know pump up the mana Fireball or Monstrous or Storm Breath Dragon or something. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and then there were. Two remaining cards in the sideboard that really stuck out to me as kind of like interesting pinpoint answers. Yes. So you have two Scour the Sands. Scouring Sands. Scouring. Scour, mm -hmm. You have Scour the Sands written on your deck list, by the way. Well, I hope I don't get in trouble for that. <laughs> All right. Uh, two, two Scouring Sands. Yeah. And two Burnaways. Burnaways. Burnaway. Okay. Yeah, I'm using this card. All Star of Comms and Tarkir Limited. Um, so what That's it right, does, it, uh, it's six damage to a creature that kills, well, everything. Yep. You know, they're not playing. Um, Something with seven toughness or more. Right. I can't think of a card. Tree of Redemption. That's not legal. So it kills anything. Also, um, the whip decks that are very popular, Obs on Whip, Glenn mm -hmm. Jones style, CDC Whip, other people style. Either way, it's how you interact with them. Blue and Red has, have notoriously been known for not having graveyard interaction. Right. They deal with the stack, not with the graveyard. That's green and black and maybe white kind of thing. Sure. But we finally have a way to nasty to get rid of those nasty Golgari mages, get those cards <laughs> out of there, okay. and really you know, not have to splash for a colorless sort of graveyard removal. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to me a little bit about what you're hoping to play against and what you're kind of hoping to avoid when you're um, playing a deck. Decks that Anger of the Gods are good against. So lots of little weak guys. Just okay. kind of is sometimes trouble, but hopefully I can rein that in and be tricky. Stubborn Denial is very tricky, you know? Sure. Like, you, you'll, you'll catch them off guard with that. Um, I do not want to play against decks that my red spells are bad against. So, like, Blue Black, okay. game one is not very good. Gotcha. I got four Angers, three Lightning Strikes. Crater's Claws are serviceable, but sure. not exciting. Okay. Um, and I can have a bad draw versus them. Um, but yeah, I've got a, also I have two Back to Natures in my sideboard. A lot of people play Destructive Revelry. This isn't exactly quite an aggro deck. Mm -hmm. It can be aggro. It, you kind of you got to morph. It's it's Teamer. Sure. Teamer's known for being um, like water. Right. You just you know be okay. what you need to be. All right. But uh, Back to Nature, if they have a whip and a Corsair, or a whip and a Doom Doomwake Giant, sure. tons of stuff, it kills all of that. Yes, I have Corsair as well, but like before, yeah. I don't have to cast if I have a Corsair. A lot sure. of times, I won't care if I get all their enchantments yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. This is not a deck that cares about dealing them an extra two with yeah. Destructive Reverie. And, and but... Back to Nature does kill everything if they've got two enchantments in play. Okay. You know, get that value, as the kids call it nowadays. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've gotten a good bit amount of value yourself. You're off to a 4 0 start. Yeah. So uh, I've been pretty lucky, and I like playing these colors. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I'll be rooting for you, man. Thank you, Andrew. Stick around. We've got plenty more coverage coming of the Standard Open here in Portland.